is a quick news break with yours truly. I'm the one and only Lego by the name of Mr. Telefero. Please make sure you're following your boy. It's on Instagram and it's at it's Mr. Telefero. Let's try to make this as quick a news break as possible. First off, I want to send a congratulations up to hip hop royalty Nicki Minaj. The queen herself announced that she is pregnant to the world. I believe pretty much uh, behind the scenes, everybody knew this. I think I might even and brought it up in a video or two uh, a few weeks ago that Nikki is pregnant. Uh, congratulations to her. She finally unveiled that to the world. I'm happy for Nikki. It seems like that was a part of her. I think I heard Charlamagne said this earlier. Seems like her vision always had a husband and a child in it. So if that's what she wants, I'm happy for one of the greatest female rappers of all time. I don't care what y'all say about Nikki. She had an iconic stretch in the game. I'm happy for Nikki. Uh, she's finally at the point where she's got a child in her on the way. And I'm sure that is something she will cherish dearly. And I can't wait to hear them bars that we get uh, post-pregnancy Nikki. To a much more serious conversation, representing my favorite rap group of all time, the Migos, 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 a tandem, a trio that I've had the opportunity of interviewing three, four times. Yeah, I've interviewed the Migos a lot. Have nothing but love for them brothers. Um, they're going through a bit of a change, though. It was announced last week that P from QC and Coach K from QC will be parting ways with the Migos because the Migos want to part ways with them. All right, it looks like this thing is going to end up being a, a mutual split when it's all said and done. The Migos claim that QC had lawyers that were working in favor of QC and taking money out of the Migos' pocket. It's as simple as that. They're filing a lawsuit against the lawyer, which essentially is filing a lawsuit against Quality Control. They are now out in a boat looking for new management, all right? It's crazy to say that, yes, the Migos have removed themselves from Quality Control. Cannot believe it. Uh, looks like Offset wanted to let it be known that, you know, he's riding with his two guys, the guys that he came in his game with, and it looks like he's just letting it be known to everybody out there we created the culture. He posted this image on his social media account saying, uh, we the greatest, we are the culture, the flow you stole. And a fan hopped in the comment section and said, you know, Offset, y'all kind of fell off, bro, no cap. Offset said, how did we fall off? And our last album put out 200K the first week. And another person dropped in the comment section and said, that was two and a half years ago. Offset said, I'm also sitting on 22 million dollars yeah, anytime an artist goes in the bag of how much money i got usually that means they're trying to deflect so that brought up a, a, a great conversation for my platform here because i love the migos have the migos fell off the telefero uh was the question I, I i thought i'd ask and i want you guys to respond in the comment box below i don't think fall falling off is the right word right we got to start coming up with different words and phrases for this stuff only in hip-hop do we do this only in two years can you fall off are the migos desperately looking for a hit record absolutely fall off don't sound like the right word for me though it's got to be a different way to put that are the migos as hot as they were a couple years ago when bad and bougie was out when culture was out no but that's the point of celebrating them in that moment because we knew they were doing something historic i don't think the word fall off is the right term with the migos and i do believe they will have one more moment in which they're atop the rap game I believe that the only thing that bothers me or would concern me as a fan of the Migos is how do they balance the two things? Not only have the Migos been getting money on the road for quite some time, but a lot of people don't talk about this enough. The Migos have been getting a lot of brand money. I see them in commercials with Sprite, Finish Line, I believe. They do a lot of work with the NBA. They do a lot of work on, I see them sometimes they're commercial, they're, they're, uh, they got little videos running during Sports Center. And to me, it seems like they make music. Hell, I've seen them in the MLB playoffs. How the hell do Migos get a commercial on baseball? What? Anywho, I think what's happening to the Migos is when they make their records in the back of their minds, because they've gotten so much money, so much money with so many of these companies, I think in the back of their mind, they got to take a little bit of the trap out their music to dumb it down and nice it up a little bit and, and, and polish it up a little bit for some of these corporate and these corporations is that they work with, right? And I get it, go get that back. But at the same time, you gotta understand why people, the, the streets and the trenches don't rock with your music anymore. Not calling them Hollywood, but they've made Hollywood trap music, if that makes any sense at all. So I wonder will the Migos pick 
probably the more lucrative deals over the next few years with some of these brands or will they take it back to the streets and give us some of that gritty trap music that we grew up on them on and i wonder will the streets be receptive of that type of music from the migos i think that's really the whole thing with them it's going to be different seeing them not with quality control i hope they work that thing out with p and coach k they got little baby lighting the streets up right now but we'll see that's that's really what it comes down to me with the migos i think they just need to get back to a little bit of that grittiness Maybe stop working with some of these high-profile producers and go back to like the who's who's got it popping in Atlanta, who's still kind of underground coming up. I think that's really all the Migos need right now, and I think they'll be right back running the things as the biggest rap group we've seen in the last decade. Let's get on out of here on this, man. If you want an Amazon gift card, I got you. Y'all see this? I am giving away Amazon gift cards. I cannot emphasize that enough. If you want an Amazon gift card, all you need to do is follow me on Instagram like my last post and share it on your story and tag me in it that's it and if you already do it do it again and hopefully i'll see it this time i'm literally just choosing people randomly tonight and tomorrow and the next day all week this week and i'm giving away amazon gift cards and if i do give you a gift card make sure you show the people that i'm legit doing this like i ain't no gimmick make sure you post it on your story once you redeem your amazon gift card let people know that's legit that way, I feel great about what I'm doing because I am giving back straight out of my pocket. This is all my money. No company behind this. Let me let me feel great about that so I can continue to do it. It's it's helping my brand grow on Instagram. At the same time, I'm putting legit money in people's pockets. You know, it's a hard time right now, and I just want to help out as best I can. All right? I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. I don't take for granted. Salute.